my own bar. Um, and so, like, step one, I was sort of uh, putting some money together and planning stages. Step two, I was looking for some locations. Step three, I had to apply for a liquor license. Uh, all these different steps. Maybe I'm getting them out of order. This is, uh, you know, probably over a decade ago now, so I'm not remembering it so clearly. But I named the place Seba Speakeasy because I just thought that was a fun name. Uh, and I like alliteration. And um, uh, the truth of the matter was uh, people started coming up to me asking me how how things were going and the planning of the of the of the bar and like where the location was. And I didn't want to divulge it yet. I wanted it to be a big surprise at the end of the school year. I was going to launch my new bar and uh, and, uh, you know, invite all the readers to, to come over. And then uh, by the I think the last um column of the year uh i revealed to the to the readers that um uh, trouble had had befallen seba speakeasy and that the building had burnt down oh. and unfortunately seba speakeasy was just not meant to be hopefully one day in the future it will but uh for this location we sunk a lot of money into it and insurance will probably pay us back but uh you know, uh, this this one is a lost cause, and uh, hopefully down the line we'll see Seba Speakeasy. But so many people really believed that I, at that age, at like an 18-year-old, was going to open and own and operate my own my own bar in downtown Montreal. Those college kids are, you know, those C. Jeff kids are a little too, uh, a little a real too antsy. gullible folk. Too gullible. They're too ambitious. Yeah, they think know? they think they can do things. Freaking yeah. kids. Ten years later, can't do anything. We cannot do a thing. Well, I'm back to reviewing <laughs> things. We are. We're, we're back where we back started. Where we... And then it's all right. And the love is strong. We're going to bring it right back to where we started from. Is that another song you remember? No. It's like a 70s disco song. I think it was in an extremely goofy movie during the, during the credits. If it wasn't... Uh... The Eye to Eye song. Oh, no, no. Uh, An extremely goofy movie, the sequel. Oh, yeah, Powerline wasn't even in that. <laughs> what were we talking about a goofy movie and we're not talking about Powerline? It's not... Uh, that was just the one where they were skateboarding. Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, they were in some sort of extreme sports tournament. I mean, that was an episode of Goof Troop. Well, I don't need that to be a whole movie. Yeah, that basically basically was. Anyway, back to the speakeasy. Seba's speakeasy. Yeah. Um, one of my... Uh, prize possessions at this uh, imaginary bar was going to be um, this uh, bottle of liquor that my grandfather has. Ever since I was a kid, my grandfather has a little bar in his apartment, and um, uh, uh, there's one particular bottle that always captured my imagination. It's a bottle um, shaped like a little porcelain dog, basically a droopy dog, uh, oh, okay. And he's got one arm up, and you could pull off that hand, and it's that's the spout. Okay. Um, and when you put it back on, it's a gun that he's holding to the top of his own head, and he's got a single <laughs> tear rolling down his cheek. And I love that the droopy dog was always like a very clearly depressed dog. I feel like his his like uh, catchphrase is "boom dear." I. Yeah, does he cry a lot? Because I, whenever I think of Droopy Dog, I'm like, boo hoo, yeah. boo hoo hoo. <laughs> but I feel like that's not even him crying. That's more him like being depressed and sarcastic, sort of mm. thing. Um, I don't ima- I, I can't imagine him crying. I feel like he's just such a low key character that he'd be like, "Where is me again?" <laughs> um, but I love this this porcelain little dog where he's crying with a tear down his down his cheek as he's holding a gun to the top of his head. It's so morose uh, for <laughs> for a cartoon character, but I absolutely love it. And um, uh, it's on a stand that if you twist the whole bottle, it'll twist back like a like one of these ballerina statues that plays music. And it uh, it plays like a sad little song. It that, does play a song. It does play a song. And, and it, just like it's like the song of his of his suicide. Oh man, and this is Hanna Barbera's droopy dog for for, for I don't, real. I don't know if it's like a completely on model character thing. I don't think this is a licensed product. I okay. think it's just sort of like a, a a a basker hound or whatever those dogs are called. Basset hound, basset yeah. hound uh, that looks so much like droopy dog that yeah, I mean if it's it's pretty much supposed to be droopy dog. 
Oh man, <laughs> that's pretty good. Keep that, keep that uh, behind the bar at Seba's Speakeasy. Let you know what kind of attitude you should have here. Goodbye, cruel world. Yeah, I feel like he did say things like that. Like he may have tried to commit suicide a few times, and like it, it never quite worked. And he was like, "Oh dear." Uh, yeah, you and, know, maybe like Mr. Magoo would interfere. He's about to like have a piano Mr. drop Ma- on his head, and then Mr. Magoo uh, like, steps on a, a, a teeter totter, and he, yeah. Yeah, he flings away. And he's like, yeah. "Oh dear, I'll have to live some more." Just my luck. <laughs> this <Boo-hoo>. cruel, <laughs> this cruel world. I must endure it another hour longer until I can successfully kill myself. Yeah. Oh, that poor... Oh, dear. dear. <laughs> Droopy dog. Such a floppy face. Ah. <laughs> uh, how is he? Was he wearing, like, a little uh, bellhop uniform? Sometimes. Uh, in uh, in um, uh, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, I believe he was the, the, the uh, elevator attendant. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was your uh, was your your drink uh, your your bottle wearing a wearing no? A I th- I'm pretty sure he was naked, if not maybe wearing a collar or bow tie. Yeah. We should get a picture of that up on the uh, on the Facebook group. It's good. Yeah. Next time, next time I visit my gra- my grandparents' yeah. house, and put, I... put a little work into getting that thing. I'll try. I'll, I'll give it a shot. What efforts have you have you put in so far to get it? Um, I basically have uh, let my grandfather know if he's ever getting rid of it, I would like to have it. Okay. If at, if at one day he's like, why do I, why do I still have this? I'm gonna throw it out. He's, Don't. I'll take it. He's held on to it for quite a, some time. I imagine. I don't know yeah. why he would just decide one day. It's like droopy dog. You're too depressing. I'm gonna give you to my grandson. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, I <laughs> doubt it. But if if for whatever reason he decides he wants to get rid of it, that's that's when I'll take it. I don't want to take it from him. Yeah. But if he's getting rid of it, I'll grab that. So uh, you want to rate these burgers? Um, I'll let you go first because I still feel like I need to mull it over a bit. It was a very good burger, but like I'm anxious about how high I want to score it. Well, you did say when she said we'll see you again, you were like probably not. Well, uh, I mean, first of all, let's get real because uh, it was it was like uh, I ended up spending more than fifty bucks. Don't get that duck uh, liver next time, man. Well, no, it's part of the experience. It's really good. Okay, well, don't get it again. Um, next time I go, maybe I'll go for lunch where they there's a free soup and coffee included. Yeah, that French onion soup looked... It mm. did look pretty good, but I'm not paying 14 bucks for a soup. No. Um, I'll, 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 I'll let you rate this <laughs> burger first. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, yeah, the meat was cooked pretty much to perfection. Um, all right, all right. I'm not going to factor in price. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Yeah. Uh, it, but it's a hesitant. It's a reluctant 7.5 because I feel like the fries should come with it. The fries are two bucks, two fifty. Just That's, throw it in. It yeah, makes okay. you feel a little better. It makes you feel like you're getting a little more out of it. Because I kind of wanted to get the double burger, but the mm-hmm. double burger was uh, what seven dollars more. Something like that. And yeah. that's just an extra patty. And normally other restaurants will throw that in for not that much more. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, you could just order two burgers at that point. Yeah, may as well. And that's yeah. basically what it is because the the yeah. that patty is the majority of that burger. Well, I thought, you know, buying in bulk, you get a little bit of a discount. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not bulk if it's just two for, per, 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 per person. Um so I'm giving it a seven point five. Seven point five. I'm surprised because we've we've had burgers that have rated higher, like a uh, um, uh, Burger Royale got an eight from you. Mm. And that was a good burger. It came on that little grill there, so you didn't have to deal with the juices. What what? I, I'm just curious uh, how you um, explain the two point five points that this burger lost. Is it mostly on price? Well, I mean, it was never a hundred dollar burger. Okay. So I, didn't, I okay. don't think it lost it. I think it it, it rose to a certain a certain height mm-hmm. and kind of stagnated there. Um, yeah, you know, the price has to factor into these things. If 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 we're being honest, I, this burger was a three dollar burger. I'd be amazed. Sure. But okay. It's, it's worth. I think it's worth it. But it's. Uh, but let's say yeah. there is one day where we do spend a hundred dollar a hundred dollars on a burger, and you eat that burger and you go, "Yeah, that price was fitting." Huh? Huh? Is it going to lose points on the price? 
All right, so let's not factor it. I think we just we should mention if the price uh, was not to our liking, okay, but it okay. shouldn't affect our sure. point. So I'd say, well, that's it. Well, that's pretty much what I did. Seven point yeah, okay. five is okay. the burger. I wasn't uh, trying to change your score. I was just no. uh, asking what went into the score. Yeah. So it's, it's basically that. I mean, the drippiness of the burger. I feel like I've I've grown. A lot as a yeah. as a burger eater. Maybe I was just a little too hungry. Uh, mm, maybe if we went back in time to some of the messier burgers, I'd I'd give it a better score. But no way to tell now. That's right. You know, uh, what's done is done. Yeah. It's Sorry, past. Dick Hands. <laughs> okay, I really enjoyed this burger. I, I I think usually while we eat these burgers, we try not to uh, show our hand too much about how much we like or dislike the burger. Try to save it for the show. All right. Um, but I thought this was an excellent burger. I know uh, you're not a fan of having a piece of liver on your burger, but I sure was in this case. The meat was a quality meat cooked uh, to perfection as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the cheese and sauce combination were fantastic. The bread was uh, fresh um, and good. Uh, I'm giving this burger what I believe is my highest rating to date. An 8.5. Okay. Okay. I thought I saw your, your lips, uh, your tongue kind of almost form a, a n, n. I thought a 9 was coming out. I was kind of close to going to a 9 because mm. this was that good of a burger. But I feel like I should leave a little leeway between that 9 and 10. Mind you, hold on. I'm leaving a whole two po- two and a half points because 9 is a whole point. 10 is a whole point. And eight, 7 is a good burger. Eight and a half is right between the two. Yeah, I'm going, it's halfway between good and a $100 burger. It's an excellent burger. It's an 8.5 burger. It was delicious. Sure, it costs a little much. I mean, the, the burger with the foie gras that we're, we're talking about, like a $25 burger, just the burger, no anything else. So I get some water with that, you know, um, and, a, and a disappointed look for my server. But if I am rating just the burger, if I go next door... And I'm not getting this dirty look at the at the speakeasy when I order just a burger. This is definitely getting at least an 8.5 because it was a delicious burger. I know I said I'd probably not be back uh, when she said, you know, see you soon, hopefully. It was just felt like such a hassle to go in. It was such a long wait, you know. Yeah. Uh, but 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 the speakeasy side of it might uh, might see that your, that seems like there. a like a bigger draw for me personally. Yeah. I prefer the decor and. Uh, uh, the music too, even for that matter. And I like I did mention this. I enjoyed the music in both locations. They scratch different itches of my of my musical tastes. Um, Matthew, next week we're probably gonna go for lunch. I imagine so, yes. So what do you think we should get for lunch? Uh, let's get a burger. It ain't a question of it, just a matter of time before I move to the front of the I gotta analyze it, analyze that liver, like you said. That sounds like where where the cost starts going up. I saw you lick your lips a little when you were talking about that liver. Oh, that liver. Stay away from that cat mm-hmm. liver, Sebastian. Mm-hmm.